Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for the latest in reality TV, influencer TV, pop culture, girl, I got you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, honey, today is Housewives Days because I think that, girl, do you hear that parade outside, bitch? Everybody is rejoicing because allegedly Lisa Rinna got fired, bitch. She didn't quit. She got fired. So we guys know, uh, you guys know, and we all know all of this drama with Patrick Summers, right? Well, you know, he is allegedly the one that she hired to do all these bots and, you know, the bot bot situation, all of these things. And um, girl, he posted on his Instagram saying, Cause okay, cause yes, okay, cause there's been so many, you know, she, she, oh, girl, hang on, let me bring this back. Don't be tardy for the party. Okay, listen, right? Remember when she posted on her Instagram talking about how, oh, I'm Lisa Rinna before how I was Lisa Rinna before Housewives. I'll be Lisa Rinna after Housewives. So everyone was like, oh my God, with all of this happening and Patrick Summers, you know, exposing all of his uh, messages with Kathy Hilton, Denise Richards, and. Basically saying that, you know, Lisa Rinna was the one who, you know, bought the bots um, and hired him to do so. He uh, posted and said, she has been fired. Yes, I snitched her out to NBC Universal to save myself. NBC was aware of our first scandal, but chose to let it slide. But this latest one caused her to be fired from the network anyways when i read this i was like damn you know i was like damn like lisa rena if this is true you guys lisa rena not only not only bitch did she like had to walk out the back door but she literally had to walk out the back door with security, not being able to grab her stuff not being able to grab a box and put her staple in it and walk out you know she if this is true, you guys, she has just been, literally, she will be, like, axed from any other show. You know what I mean? Like, if this is, if this comes out to be true and Bravo issues a statement that this, that she actually allegedly hired Patrick Summers and his company to do these bots to attack Garcelle, to attack Denise Richards, to attack Kathy Hilton, all these people, it's over for her. No, but, like, for real, though, it is, it, it, you don't come back from that. Well, Lisa Rinna posted um, a, a story today and it said, it's basically said, nobody is more focused on trashing your name than someone who's worried you will tell people the truth. So she is still, you know, with this message, it's very clear that she is still hanging on to her innocence. Um, she did delete a lot of things housewife related on her social medias. It's not in her bio. It's not in anywhere. Um, she said that, you know, she literally posted, I'm, I was Lisa Rinna before Housewives. I'll be Lisa Rinna after Housewives and, oh, Lisa fucking Rinna. Um, I think that if, okay, let's say for example, this is all true and Patrick Summers is telling the truth. It's all the truth, right? Let's say, I feel like there was such a huge desperation in her and such an obsession with attention, fame, popularity, and the show. And how she never was able to really, really understand that this is not days of our lives. This is not, you know, the soap operas that she was on. This is not that. This is supposed to be real life, right? And she just wanted to play this character. She thought that she could play this very, very, you know, bougie, sexy, fashionly, and, and, then, and then kind of mean character that everyone would just die for. And unfortunately, or, you know, unfortunately for her, nobody really kind of went along with it. You know what I mean? Um, I think that Lisa Rinna, uh, she lost her touch a long time ago. Her thing with um, Kim Richards, her thing with, you know, just with everyone. I mean, I will never forget in Paris when her, or no, not Paris, when they were in Denise Richards' house and just... It looked like she was such, she was rejoicing the fact that Denise Richards was getting 
all of this hate Denise Richards was getting, all of this, you know, bombarding on her. And when she said like, oof, you're so angry. Like, it just really, I was like, girl, this is not days of our lives, bitch. And so were the days of our, this is not days of our lives, boo. This is the real answer to Beverly Hills. You know what I mean? And, you know, I, I, I saw it with, with so many people, like, she would go do the mean things. She would act like she didn't do them. You know, remember when Kyle asked her if she said that uh, Kim Richards was close to death? Like, she has done such horrible things with Lisa Vanderpump, which is everyone, right? And, like, you saw how bad of a friend she actually is. It's so crazy to me that Garcelle and Denise Richards were friends with Lisa Rinna for over 20 years. And they both cannot stand her. They both agree that she is another Lisa Rinna. So let me tell you guys something. Before Housewives, th there was a friendship, right? There was a connection. There was a friendship. You fell in love with this person. And you get on this show and you see this whole new person you don't recognize. Don't you think that you would listen to your friends before the show and say like, hey, you might want to kind of like, you know, back things up a little bit, boo, because I don't know what it is, but you are acting crazy. You are acting a mess. You know what I mean? And like this whole villain she wants to portray this sexy villain this you know soap opera villain i'm like girl sit down you know what sit down go and get your daughters because you know they're not busy go sit down relax don't you know don't you don't have to go that far but i'm telling you guys something if this turns out to be true this is the end of lisa rinna and and it might even affect harry hamlin this will be the end of any type of future projects you guys because if you, if these, if these rumors are true, right? These alleged rumors are true. How do you come back from that? How do you come back from hiring a company with, and send hate to people? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, girl, you might not like people. You might, you might want to, you know, you might not want their friendship. You might not this, you might not, but damn, they were coming after a 14 year old kid. Like you just, that Girl, that is way too much. Um, what do you guys think? Do you believe that Patrick Summers is telling the truth? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm just, you know, here's the thing. I'm, 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 I'm here. I've said this for many months since I've been doing, I, I think I've only been doing Housewife Tea for about a month and a half or two. But I've said from the beginning that I really do believe that this season of Beverly Hills, it needs a really big shape up for next season because this season has just been so dark and Lisa Rinna needs to go. Diana lip licking uh, needs Yankins needs to go. And a lot of people want Erica and Kyle as well. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I am so incredibly grateful for each and every one of you. And let's wait and see if Bravo says anything, bitch, because if they say that this is fucking true and she doesn't show up to the reunion, Anyways, don't be tardy for the party next time I post, okay? Love you guys. Bye.